Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well and enjoying my weekly crafts and resin art videos. This week I am back with another resin art video. So today I will show you how to make these rose quartz coasters. If you guys want to see how I make these then continue watching. So to start with I will be using these coaster molds. For colors I will be using pink sherbet, rose pink, magenta, langridge titanium white and I have made a paste out of this pigment. You need heat gun. I have mixed my resin. And for the edges, I will use one of these Sargent liquid metal acrylic paint. I might use gold or silver depending on how the final coaster looks. So I have both of these out at the moment. So let's get started. To start, I will pour the colors in random zigzag patterns. This way, all the colors will not completely mix, but will blend enough to give rose quartz look. Casting resin is quite thin and runny, so I will suggest you guys to let it sit for some time before starting to pour it in. This way, patterns will stay and blend a little bit, otherwise the colors will all just mix together and you might not get the look you are going for. I think it's quite similar to getting a marble look. I have tried a marble look before by just pouring all the white in and then for grey parts I added more color on top. And it did not go quite well like i mean i did get the marble look but it wasn't what i was going for so i think patience is the key here so if you guys try to make this be patient it will all come together Ok guys, I will stop now for this layer as this coaster is quite thick so I think it's better if I do it in two layers. So resin has completely dried up and now I will repeat the same process. I will keep it short I promise. My main reason to do two layers is that I have no idea how the other side will turn out and I have no control over it but I can control the top side to look more like rose quartz but again it's resin and you cannot really predict anything. My resin is so thick because it's art resin and not casting resin and I did not realize it until I was really struggling for it to spread out. But anyways, at this point I cannot really do anything to change it. So I'm just gonna keep on going. It will be either an amazing posture or a great lesson.
okay guys i will stop now and let it cure and then move on to the next step so guys it has all cured and i did add one more layer to fill the coasters but i did not film it because it was just the same process now i will demold these and see how they turned out well they look pretty good but this is not what i had in mind i will do gilding on the sides with silver paint i will do a total of three layers to give it the metallic look It's all done. I will let it dry and then I will show you guys the final piece. It's all done guys. They need a clear top coat for that extra shine. I will do that later. I loved making these coasters and it was a totally new experience. I mean I like these coasters. They look more like a marble defect than rose quartz to me. I wish I didn't do a third layer or the resin was thick enough to give it rose quartz look on the other side. But I guess I gotta be more patient with resin. And number one rule of working with resin or for that matter making any art is to let go of the results. All in all I do like these. Somehow camera is not showing the actual color. I like this one more because I think this has more depth whereas this one looks faded also the white pigment I think did not mix well and some of the pigment settled at the bottom of the mold which is actually the top I'm still thinking if this set is a pass or fail let me know what you think of these in the comments below I would love to know what you guys think Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, do check me out. Also, do check me out on Instagram at craftybonker. See you guys next time.